So today we're going to be looking at ball speed. How can I get the most ball speed out of my driver? And we're not talking about increasing swing speed or changing head design or loft or anything like that. Purely, we're going to look at length and swing weight. We're going to be testing multiple lengths and multiple swing weights and therefore multiple head weights to see if I can find the most ball speed possible from my driver. Okay, so the main variables we're going to be looking at today is length and really overall weight, which plays a part of swing weight. So a lot of the theory behind creating more ball speed would be more mass in the head. But everyone is going to get to a point where it's too heavy to swing fast. You're going to lose club speed because the weight in the head is just too much for you to handle. The other variable is obviously length. So the more length we have, the wider arc we can create, therefore the more club head we can create. And those two kind of go hand in hand. So if we have a really long club with a lot of mass added to the head, it's going to be super heavy. So although the, the arc may be wider and we have more head weight, we may lose club head speed because of that. And vice versa, if we go super short, Possibly we can add lots of mass into the head, which is going to create a heavier head and therefore a more efficient strike. But with the shorter length shaft, are we going to lose too much club speed? Like, is there a sweet spot for me? And this is for me. Everyone's going to have their own strengths and weaknesses. Obviously, I'm not the biggest, strongest guy in the world. Um, so there's going to be a sweet spot for me where I can move the club the fastest and have the most head weight to create the most efficient strike and generate the most ball speed. Okay, so let's go over what I'm going to be using for this experiment. So we're going to be keeping the Titleist TSI 3 head the whole time, set 8 degree head, set down at 7 uh, on our Club Connects. Um, the only variable that I'm going to be changing in terms of the head is the weight. So we can see on this one at the minute, there's no weight in there at all. Um, so I've taken the weight completely out. So at each length, 45.5, 45, and then 44.5, we're going to have three different weight setups. We're going to have no weight in the head. We're going to have a minus four gram weight in the head, and then a plus two gram weight in the head in terms of tire list. And I'll tell you what all the actual head weights are as we go through. So then the only other thing, obviously the shafts will be changing. So for the 45.5 playing length, I'm going to be using uh, Fujikura Atmos Tor Spec um, 7X, all of them. Um, and one thing that I'm not going to go too much in depth with in, uh, in this video, um, but I will be changing shaft profile as we go through because obviously the less weight we have in the head, the firmer it's going to make the shaft play. You know, so if you imagine kind of waggling a, a shaft with no head on it, it's going to be like a board. But if you put kind of a 10 kilo weight on the end of that, it's going to be super whippy. Um, so as I add more weight to the head, I'm going to be changing to a firmer profile. So with no head weight, we're going to start off with the red, slightly tips off the profile. And then as I put the, a little bit more weight in the head, I'll go to the blue. And then maximum weight in the head, I'll go to the black. Uh, and the 45 inch player length, I'm going to be using the Ventus, uh, red, blue, and black again, all in 6X. Um, and then as we go down to 44.5, I'm going to be using the Fujikura Vista Pro. Um, I think I'll probably do a, a 65X, um, a 55 stiff, and then maybe a 55 reg, again, as we change uh, the, 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 wed, the head weights. Um, yeah, so that's basically the lowdown um, of what I'm going to be testing on quad. Um, <laughs> and yeah. It's going to be quite interesting for me as well because I actually don't know what these results are going to, are going to bring, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, let's get stuck in. So to start, we're going to go straight into the 45.5 of the Atmos Red Torspec 7X. No weight in the head. So this head weight with, with the weight fully taken out is 185. Um, so on the lighter side. Uh, and this swing weight is C9. So again, maybe on the slightly lighter side. Um, so, yeah. Let's go. And what I'm going to try and do is obviously it's nine combos, so I'm going to try and get five good shots with each. Uh, obviously, any really bad swings or anything I will delete. Uh, obviously, I'll be taking note of kind of ones that I struggle with in terms of 
consistent strike, dispersion, those kind of things, because obviously weight, swing weight, length, all those kind of things obviously plays a massive part in that as well. So we'll, we'll go over that at the end. We will get on that green by the end of the day. Okay, so that's the first set done. Um, I felt actually very comfortable swinging it. Um, very easy to create club speed. Ball speed was okay. The efficiency wasn't fantastic, to be fair. Um, but it was a little bit all over the shot, which could have been a little bit the club. Could have definitely been a bit of me. Um, so we're now hopping into the second setup, which is still 45.5 um, Atmos Blue this time. Um, 7X, is that a focus? No, but okay. <laughs> Tall spec 7X. Um, we've got the minus four gram weight in the head, um, which now brings the head weight to 189. So this swing weight's D3. So we've gone 185 to 189 and C9 to D3 in terms of uh, swing weight. So uh, yeah, let's get a few of this and see what the numbers say. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna hit 10 with each and then I'm gonna take the best five. That way I think it just keeps it a little bit fairer to be, to be honest. So let's get a few of this. So again, with that one, I kind of struggled a little bit. I think that's more me, to be honest, than the drivers today, uh, having a bit of an off day. But next, we're going to the black 7X. So I'm adding the plus two weight in the head. So this head weight is now 195. So we've gone from 185 to 189 to 195. Swing weight is now at D7. So we went from C9 to D3 to D7 um, up into the black. Atmos Tour Spec 7X. So this is going to be, yeah, this is probably going to be a bit of a struggle for me, but really interesting to see if there's club speed drop off and there are ball speed drop off, or if maybe there is a club speed drop off, but maybe not a ball speed drop off. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. So uh, let's take a look at this one. So straight away, obviously, this feels like even when you pick it up and just, it's just a lot more weight down there. So it does, it feels like it's going to be a lot harder for me to move it. Okay, so that one was hard work. Uh, I can feel that in my back now. Uh, so this is going to be a nice change of pace. We're going back to um, no weight in the head, 45 inch. Uh, this is Ventus Red 6X. Probably won't focus, but Ventus Red 6X. No weight in the head, so back to 185 head weight. And this swing weight's at C6. So really on the light side. It's going to be very interesting to see again similar to the last one, which was longer and super heavy. Um, can I really pick up lots of club head speed with this because it's super light, but A, do I not know where the head is? Can I not find strike? Does the lack of mass and overall weight mean that I'm gonna transfer less energy and, and again, create less ball speed? Um, so yeah, it'd be another interesting one to, uh, to find out. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. So that first one was basically a clean snap hook and actually it didn't feel like that much of a bad swing. I could just feel it like, I could just flip it just too easily really, going from a 45.5 D7, long, heavy, to a light, yeah, short, easy to flip. So it's probably gonna take some swing adjustments, should we say. <clears throat> Okay, so that's the set done with the, uh, the Ventus Red 6X, which was no weight in the head, swing weight like C6, like, yeah, it didn't feel like there was anything there, to be honest. One thing that was super surprising, actually, I'll wait till the end for that, but club speed was phenomenal, could get some really good results out of it, but it was so easy to turn over. I mean, it took me four or five swings to be able to stop hitting it left, and even then, you get the odd one that would just be 60 yards left. Um, so yeah, really easy to swing fast, but definitely not a fairway finder. Okay, so now up into the Ventus Blue 6X, we've got the minus four gram weight back in the head. Um, so uh, now sitting at just under D0, about C9.6, C9.7. Um, it's a little bit closer to a normal kind of swing weight, still a little bit on the light side, but, um, and Blue 6X, still at 45 inch playing length now with these. Um, so yeah, this could be, this could be an interesting one, nice middle ground maybe, let's see. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty glad I, uh, I left the 44.5 inches till last because my back's down the hill already, <laughs> getting old. Wow. So there's one, I nearly missed that. It's gone 318 yards down the middle. Okay, so that's the 45, uh, the middle one done. So with the Ventus Blue sitting at, I oh, was it just a uh, C9.6, it's just under D0. Um, so now moving up to the next one. So we've got the Ventus Black 6X. Um, again, I'm sure it probably won't focus, but uh, yeah, <laughs> Black 6X. So we've got the plus two gram weight back in the head. So this is now just over D3, about D3.2. Uh, still at 45 inch playing length. Um, so yeah, again, it shouldn't be too far away from my ballpark, really. D3, uh, Ventus Black, quite like that. Um, still got the same head, same loft, TSI 3, set of 7. So yeah, let's keep it going. That's a pretty good start. Wow. Club speed drop, though. <clears throat> I 
Right, so that is the 45.5s done and the 45s done, all at the different head weights and different swing weights. Um, so yeah, very interesting so far. And this one's going to be, again, it's just all interesting, isn't it, <laughs> to be honest? Um, so 44 and a half inch play in length, and then shorter, back to no weight in the head. Uh, so this, uh, this is a Vista Pro, uh, Fidgetro Vista Pro 65X. Uh, 44 and a half inch play, and so the swing weight of this was just under C4. So this is like stupidly light. Um, again, it's just a bit of fun as an experiment, really. I don't think you'd ever fit anyone into it at C4 unless you're very, very small and super, super weak. Um, weak's not the right word, sorry, but I think you get my point. Um, so yeah, this could be an interesting one. Uh, let's just dive in and uh, and see what uh, see what we see. Tired now. It's a bit better. That is a bit better. Because it just actually occurred to me because I'm tired and probably rushing too much in this video. There are obviously no head weight. We really want the softer profile, and I put in the 65X. Um, so now I'm going to hit some with the 55 regular. Um, again, without, with no weight. Uh, so this was C3. So again, to be honest, like although that is an insanely light swing weight, with it being shorter, especially with the 65X and having no kind of weight down in the head, it didn't actually feel too bad. Um, it's something that I find in fittings quite a lot. People kind of link how stiff the shaft feels to how heavy it is. And I completely get that. I agree with my feels that, um, you know, when the shaft is stiffer to me, it just feels an overall heavier club. So even though that was C4 or something, like where there was no weight and it was a 65X, there wasn't that much giving the shaft. So it actually felt, it didn't feel heavy, but it didn't feel as light as C3, C4. Um, so I'm just going to get a couple with this just to kind of compare results and um, then jump into the other two. Right, this is a lot of drive. How many? I'm not even sure. I think it's about 100, almost 100 drivers I've hit now. <sighs> I'm tired. So into the middle 44.5 inch. So I moved up to a, a 65 gram stiff, sitting in the Vista Pro. Uh, you can kind of see that Vista Pro. This camera sucks. <laughs> Vista Pro 65 stiff, so 44.5 inch. So I've gone back to the minus four gram weight in the head. So this is now swing weight in at C6. So still very much on the light side, obviously, because we're short, um, even with a little bit of weight, although it's still minus four. So yeah, let's get a set of this. The last combo, I'm tired, <laughs> 121 drives in. I didn't obviously hit 10 with each because I think I've been having a bit of a struggle driver day, to be honest. So getting five good shots with each has been a bit of a struggle. Um, but yeah, last combo, back to the, the Vista Pro 65X, still 44.5 inch, plus two gram weight in the head. So now we're at D1. Um, so in theory, quite a nice swing weight. Uh, what I did notice about the last one, although it was C6, I believe, I might have to go back and check, but it was on the light side, it really didn't feel like that. Like, it just, again, I feel like it's shaft flex relative to mass um, in the head. It just didn't feel that light. It actually felt a comfortable weight to swing. Um, so this shorter, stiffer at D1 will be, will be interesting.
Whew. Right. That's all of them done. Finally. <laughs> so the speed, I think, did drop off a little bit um, on the last one. Whether that was the combo, I mean, obviously it was shorter. D1, so actually swing weight, not too bad. But it did feel quite stivvy, stivvy? Uh, till I'm tired. Stiff and heavy. Um, so did that have an impact on speed, possibly? Or is it just that I'm tired? Well, we'll find out at the end of the video. The green's out there at this hole, 347. And the combo that I could get the most ball speed out of, which the results will be coming next, I'm going to go back and hit and try and reach the green. See if it was the combo while I was losing speed, or am I just knackered? Let's have some fun. Right, okay, so that was a lot of hitting. Um, yeah, enjoyable, some interesting results. So let's take a look straight at those now. I'm going to start with a 45.5, then go 45, then 44.5. Uh, and then, yeah, just have a little bit of a summary at the end. So if we dive into the compare page, we can see that the one kind of theme straight away, looking at ball speed, which is kind of one of the, the main elements of this kind of test, I guess, is that the more weight we had in the head, the more the ball speed dropped with 45.5 anyway. We'll see if that kind of continues throughout the, uh, the kind of test, see if that's a bit of a theme. I mean... You can see there that, in reality, the distance was very, very similar. Um, for some reason, uh, it launched quite a lot lower with the minus four gram weight. Um, that was, in reality, probably the way I delivered the club, the strike, delivered loft, stuff like that was probably more me than the club, to be honest, and the spin kind of varied as well. Um, 23, 24, and then dropped to 2,000 with the, the, uh, the, the heavier weight. Again, not really want to dive too much into how you know, more weight could potentially create more deflection, even though it was a stiffer profile. I don't want to dive too much into that now because I could you know, go on about that all day. Um, so yeah, theme straight away there is the, the ball speed drop, the more head weight that I had. Um, it didn't pull club data through for some reason. So if we have a quick look on the table, scroll to the top, we go on to club, we can see right at the top is the 45, so 117, 116, 115. And again, you can see straight away there's a theme, um, 117, well, 118 with no weight, 116, close to 117 with uh, the minus 4 gram weight, and then basically 116 with the plus 2 gram weight. So we can see not only we're dropping down in ball speed, we're also dropping down in club head speed with the 45.5, um, which is interesting. Okay, so if we jump over onto the 45, again, exactly the same theme. Um, as I go, as I add head weight, I lose ball speed. Um, again, launch conditions, but weirdly, again, the, the plus two, lower spinning. Um, again, not going to dive too much into that, but you can see carry distances are, you know, within seven yards, which are that kind of... Uh, that kind of distance for me, that's more me, to be honest, um, in, in this particular test. But yeah, very interesting. Again, lost more ball speed as we added weight to the head. Um, again, it hasn't dragged through club data. So if we jump back onto the table, we look at the club data at the 45. Got essentially 120 with the 45 with no weight, um, 118 and a half with the minus four, and then 117 and a half with the plus two. So again, it's basically exactly the same theme. We see as I add head weight, I lose club head speed. Um, and you can see that the efficiency there, 1.4, 1.4, 1.41. I mean, there really isn't much in it considering we were what, I can't even remember off the top of my head, kind of C, mid C's up to kind of D3, kind of with the 45 inch, something around that. Um, the efficiency didn't really go up. So, you know, we can gain club speed and ball speed. Um, again, going back to the dispersion, um, that very first one with the 45, which was very light, Ventus Red 6X, uh, no weight in the head. The first four or five, I just basically snap hooked. <laughs> um, it was just probably a bit too easy. My miss is left. It was a bit too easy for me to go left. But when I got the hang of it and kind of figured out just, you know, to get my hands towards the ball a little bit before I released and kind of held onto it a little bit longer, they were actually piping just dead straight. So, I mean, could I learn to control that and get that extra club head speed, extra ball speed? Possibly, possibly. 
Um, so again, yeah, interesting, exactly the same theme. Uh, if we go back to the compare page, and now we're going to go to the 44.5. There's four of those because I re-hit with the other shaft. 166, 166, 165, 165. So again, not as big a drop-off, but you can see it's a very, very similar theme, actually. Um, the more weight I add, the more ball speed I lose. Um, so I guess this, you know, the theme is there. It really goes to show the less head weight or less swing weight you can play, for me anyway, the more ball speed I'm going to get. So that kind of theory of having more mass in the head, producing more ball speed, more efficiency, for me, doesn't appear to be true. Um, and again, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm not a big, strong dude, you know. Um, so possibly for people who could move that mass just as quick, maybe they would produce more ball speed. Possibly. Um, again, it would be another interesting test, but this can only really apply to myself. Uh, if we go back to the um, table to look at the club speed in the 44 and a halves. So we had 119, 119, 118, 116. Yeah, I did say that last 44 and a half. I did struggle with for some reason, even though it was D1, I believe. Uh, it did feel just quite heavy and stiff. So D1's not heavy, but it's short, which is going to make it play stiff. And D1 still is not that heavy. So maybe it was just too stiff for me to kind of really load and... I don't know, I just I did really struggle with it. Although interestingly, you can see the efficiency there is up at 142. So that might have even been the most efficient combo. Um, it's probably a result of the, the head speed being, the club speed being down, 1.4, 1.39. So if we look, what was the most efficient combo? 139, 139, 138 with the 45.5. So actually none of those were very efficient. 1.4, 1.4, 1.41 with the 45. So getting a little bit better. Um, the last 45 with the most head weight was the most efficient. Um, and then going to the 44.5s, we had 1.4, 1.39, 1.42. So yeah, it was. 44.5 with the most head weight was the most efficient. But the question was really, where can I get the most ball speed? So I believe the most ball speed, actually going to go back onto the table, was the 45 with no head weight. I believe. So we had 163, 163, 160 with the 45.5, not particularly good. And yes, yeah, straight away, a 45 inch with no head weight, 168 on average. That is, on average, that is quick. I know I did delete the bad ones, to be fair. But, um, and then 166, the 45 with the minus 4, 165 with the 45 with the plus 2. Um, so all of them actually much quicker than the 45.5, which actually did surprise me because I, I actually, coming into this, I've been doing a little bit of testing, I thought the 45.5 of no head weight would create the most club speed and for me, hopefully, the most ball speed, which it certainly didn't, didn't do that today. But yeah, wow, that was uh, that's amazing, isn't it? You know, because if you look at where, uh, you know, what most people would play their driver as, 45.5 um, inch, um, with the minus four gram weight in the head. I can't remember what that was, D3 maybe? So again, 45.5 around D3 is quite possibly where most of you play in your drivers. 162 ball speed. And then go into, you know, 45 inch at what, C6 was the, the, the first one? 168 ball speed. Again, there's always a debate, is that controllable? But you can actually see there, when I got the hang of it, seven yards off line, nine yards off line, 19 yards off line, one yard off line, six yards off line. So I could, hit, I could hit some really straight drives with it. Um, so yeah, wow, there you go. And what was the most ball speed of the day? 169, 169.6. It's got to be the 45 again with no weight in it. 169, 168.8. Definitely was, yeah. There you go. I guess definite theme, less head weight equals more speed and more ball speed, and even though I was more efficient with the very last combo, it, it, it was quite far behind, three mile an hour behind on ball speed from the quickest. Um, so there you go, that was a really kind of fun, enlightening test um, with some very interesting themes. I think definitely more to test on this, dive deeper, um, to find is there one that's really super gameable and you can get the most club speed out of it. I actually feel like that 45 with no weight in it is not too far off. Maybe a little bit more control, a little bit more head weight possibly, just to stop that left 
turn over a little bit more, maybe play around with shaft profiles as well to reduce that miss and I don't know, you could be on for a real long straight driver. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think and uh, see you next time. Okay, so you've seen the results. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now it's time for some fun. Can I get there? Can I get to that 347 green? Comment below, yes, no, no chance, no hope. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh, that is some good ball speed. Go on, go. Oh, 340 in the bunker. I don't know if I'm going to get any more than that. That was good on 73 ball speed. Keep turning, bounce, hop. Oh, oh, oh my God. Turn. Oh. See, I'm done. I am done.